What's that mean? I was going to comment on some, but I'm not going to comment. What is it? <laughs> what were you? Notice they keep changing the numbers of the of the roads. They're changing the numbers of the highways. Now it's going to be 885. Live from North Carolina. <laughs> Mom's m mind has been blown today, mainly because they've closed the tunnel at Duke Hospital. The bridge. Yeah. Well, that is a tunnel. No, it's not a tunnel. It's a bridge. It's on the second It looks like a tunnel to me. <laughs> Why did they close it? I don't know. Yeah, no, you do know. I went, no. I told you why they closed it. Remember? The nurse told me COVID. Yeah, but what did I say? Security. Yes. So see. And did you notice you had to go through a metal detector? Yeah. And security agreed that it was security. See? Security. What I was really glad was I didn't have one of Dad's knives. It's kind of cold. He's got one over there in the corner. Do you usually take the knife into the hospital? No, but he might. Oh, that would... took a knife to the airport. Well, that was a pocket knife. Yes, you cannot take pocket knives to the airport or the hospital. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering. Just saying. We just spent, we just walked nine miles at Duke Hospital finding food. And come to find out, there was no diet drinks there. I mean, they only had diet drinks. They don't have real Coke. Blair's got a Coca-Cola back there. Yeah, but we got that from home. I just think that's interesting to only sell diet drinks. Like, I don't feel like diet drinks are very healthy. No. They'd be the opposite. And of they sell a great big thing of sweet tea. Vicky said they made her give up her pepper spray. <laughs> well, that's not. No doctor wants that's... you to have pepper spray <laughs> at the airport. Um, so I missed, I have this, you know, thing I've been doing, which is summer vacation day, whatever. And yesterday was day five and I missed it. So this is day five, a day late. And the reason is... Um, that's just perfect to talk about how the summer gets a little bit crazy. We had, what did we have yesterday, Sissy? We had confirmation, and then we had take Amos to the pool all afternoon, which he loved, but I did not prep him for when it was going to be time to go. So he had a great big fuss over that, and he hadn't had his medicine, and he had gotten too hungry. So that was uh, not good. We had a big subscriber uh, video this morning. The subscribers were um, given a stern talking to because of the fussing. Invites to your troller page were sent to two of my Facebook friends. And I have no idea how that happened. I don't know either. Well, I can promise you the subscriber, I have this group and it's called the troller group. And the troller group are my subscribers who where they can post things but we've had a few we've had a little problem with pot stirring which is kind of a theme on the internet should i answer that hello hello hi is Dennis available yes this is he Yes. All calls may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance purposes. We're okay. calling today to thank you for all the past support and give you a quick update. Okay, Brianna, go ahead. Uh, with Republicans in control of the House, it's time to fix the mess that Biden and Harris have created over the last two years. That is why this year the College of Republicans are organizing a national person? convention in Washington, D.C. Brianna. Students from all over. That's yes. not yes. recording. Are, are you actually talking, or is this a recording? No, this is me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, you you sound so professional. It's like it's well, I Carol Brady. My job. <laughs> oh, you're doing a good job. Okay, keep going, Brianna. Keep reading. Okay. Well, students from all over the country will be flying into our nation's capital, meeting with the party leaders, talking about issues, and demanding a return to Reagan conservatism. And while we're there, we'll also be learning and practicing skills to bring other college students into the party. Now, when is this? You have, I'm sorry? When is this, Brianna? Actually, it says here on my info card. That's what I was just 
literally just wondered in my head. It says the convention will take place the weekend of June 10th, so it has already, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, that was this past weekend. So I wonder why we're still doing this, honestly. <laughs> I don't know if they're still doing this, if they're still raising money for it. I have no idea, but it does say it takes place the weekend of t- June 10th. I wonder if it didn't happen then. So, Brianna, I'm let's talk. Sure. I want to talk about your job because this is kind of awesome. Is this, do you work from home? Yes, but I'm not allowed to disclose information on that. I work oh. for InfoCision, I can say that. InfoCision is where I work. InfoCision, and you just get paid by the hour? Do you get paid if people answer? How does it work? I've always I'm wondered. Not allowed to disclose. I'm not allowed to disclose that information. Oh. I'm sorry. That's all right. But oh. um, we noticed that you've been a great supporter in the past. That's why we wanted to ask if you would co-sponsor this convention and support these young people with a one-time gift of $50. Really anything would help, honestly. Co-sponsor the convention that was that already happened? That's exactly what I was thinking in my head. Why um, are we doing this still? <laughs> but yeah, if I you if you want to, okay. Well, you if you find out if it hadn't happened, call me back and I'll sponsor. But if it's already done, it'd be like saying, "Will you take me out to dinner yesterday?" You know, I like, certainly understand that. I will yeah. find that out. Matter of fact, I'm going to message a supervisor about it right now. And I'm, I literally just realized this as I'm on the phone with you. So well, good. I'll put you out on my callback list, okay? Okay. Thanks, Brianna. Thank you. Goodbye. interesting conversation I've ever heard so we're so this morning I was chastising people and I'm gonna chastise some of you this is my big page so we have Karen and then we have who else there was another person I'm not being mean and Lisa and both of you had said you're not going to 540 you're going straight thank you you're welcome I'm so used to getting on that. Both of you have said you need to let her know she's being recorded. So the law in North Carolina, it's a one-party state. So you never, ever have to let anybody know they're being recorded in North Carolina. So that is North Carolina law. So when you say you need to let somebody know, legally you don't. So I can always have, I can record, you can go into a doctor's office and one party means one party knows. So I would be the party that knows the recording is happening, right? Now, some states might be two party states, which means you would have to alert them. So that's why when you get these 1-800 calls and they say, just to let you know, this may be a recorded call, it's a courtesy. Well, it's not a cur- courtesy by me. That's interesting. No, and there's nothing that anybody could object to of me recording that. So no, I'm not offering that courtesy. The same way I tell people, if you send me a message, I might post it on my big page. There is no privacy in the tales room. None. Unless it's like a real issue. Normally it's people um, messaging me complaints. Those are all fair game. Yes, day five. Day five vacation. Are you driving? Yes. Aren't I a good driver and video at the same time, Linda? No, I'm not driving. My mother's driving. Oh my gosh. So it's day five. Brianna. I like Brianna though. Info so see that might be a good job for you. For the summer. That wasn't a call for me. That was a call for Dennis, my dad. I said, this is he. (laughs) She didn't even argue. She just wanted somebody to answer. Yep. Let this be lemonade. This is not lemonade. It's half sweet, half unsweet tea. Yeah, we had a doctor's appointment up at Duke. And now we are going to... Where did you say you needed to go, Sissy? The wilderness store? And Lululemon for Russell. And Lululemon for Russell. New beauty mark on your forehead. So I've already called. I have to go get this thing zapped off. I'm sure it's some it's terrible mose, but then maybe I'll get my forehead fixed. It does look better. It's, it's our fault that we didn't use sunscreen when you were old. It's mom's fault. It is. 
This isn't a wrinkle. This is where I got hit in the no, head I with that lunchbox. Marks. What marks? That My mark. sun marks? Oh. <laughs> I use sunscreen. I think it was that real liquidy stuff, those yeah. sundown. <laughs> I don't think it was very good back in 1975. 1975. Um, so we are doing that vacation day five. Sissy, how long does it feel like you've been out on vacation? How long does it feel like you've been on vacation? What? How many times do I need to ask the same question? Okay. Feels like it's been weeks. It's one way to have the summer not go slow, or to go slow, is to just go nowhere and stay home with people. It's true. It's very true. Sundown was the screen, sunscreen of choice in the 80s. I'm pretty sure Sundown, like, didn't have any sunscreen in it. It was just thick white paste <laughs> that basically kept the sun off of you like paint. would. Like, you might as well sell oil-based paint. Benjamin Moore sunscreen. Just slap some of that stuff on you. In two miles, take exit 289 to merge onto Wade Avenue. You enjoy Georgia looking into vacation miles. paperwork. Mm, me too. Mamie, what's on your vacation this year? Oh, get dad good. Get him all healthy. Baby oil. Mom, did you <laughs> ever use baby oil? Yeah. You mix it with iodine. That was real healthy. Iodine. How much iodine did you have to use? I don't I don't remember, but it was bad. Iodine, because that stained your skin brown? <laughs> yes, I don't iodine's kind of red isn't it that's how she met my dad isn't it no i walked by his house i thought you were i thought you met him by walking by his house his fraternity his optometry fraternity you walked by his fraternity and you were a seniorish, right by that point yes how old was he he was in his uh, no was second. he a senior too no, he no he's older for seven years <laughs> So when you walked by, what did you say? I didn't say anything. Oh, what did he say? He said, you want to come up and sunbathe. So was he up on the roof when you walked mm -hmm. by? Just sitting up there? Sunbathing. Looking at people walk by? <laughs> yeah. Just up there like a guard. <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say? I said, it's too hot. Take exit 289 to Virginia Avenue. Ah! Uh, so you told him no? Yep. Then that does not explain how you like that. Yeah, then what'd he say? He said, we have a shower. So then you went up when no, he said that? No, I didn't go up. <laughs> In 3.3 miles. So then what happened? We became good friends. But how'd you see him the next time? How'd you become friends? If yeah, we, we, we lived next door everything. to each other. Next door. So, do you remember the second time you talked to him? No, I really don't. So, you just like said, so. So, once this guy asked you, you to use out. his shower, then you decided he could be a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> this is called people not to date, Blair. <laughs> no, but basically, so you, so he asked you some questions and you said no, and then you left, but y'all still ended up getting married, but you said no to everything. <laughs> well, that's, now that is. That is a very good rule. That's what happens. <laughs> You're not available. You're not I'm available. Yep. Like, Never. how'd you meet again? You just, like, saw him and were like, hey, that's the person I said I didn't want to Never hang out. act desperate. Out. <laughs> no desperate. You're totally un, un, uninterested. uninterested. Well, Mom was dating someone, weren't you, at the time? Yeah. In two miles. Was that serious? One north toward Rocky Had you <laughs> <laughs> until I met Dad? That's you... the end of the conversation. We're not going anywhere <laughs> else with that. Had you set a date with the other person? <laughs> with the other person? No, not a, not necessarily. She didn't want us. She was engaged. <laughs> Secret. Mamie you were was actually engaged. <laughs> <laughs> were you actually? And here's what she said when I asked her about it. I really liked his mother. <laughs> Stay in the left two lanes. Were you actually engaged? I was.
but she didn't set a date. <laughs> that should tell you something, Blair. Note to self. No, that must be why you was, wanted Big Thomas he, to set a date with me. <laughs> <laughs> no. This so you guy were was, engaged, and then you decided guy was you didn't a, want to marry nice him guy. and started talking to Dee Dee? Nice guy. What happened to him? Uh, I don't even know. He he. Let's see if he's out there. What's his name? Younger. I'm not telling you that. Richard Swanky. <laughs> I'm not telling you that. He might be on. <laughs> He's still around? I don't know. I'm you don't ever look? I don't keep up, no. Stay you could have been married to him and you don't look. Yeah, I mean, everybody has to look. I like to look and see what people our date and do. I want to see how really? they look. Well, yeah, see if they're... If they aged well. <laughs> if they aged well. <laughs> if they have a big boat. <laughs> how many children they have. Think of all the people I dated. They can just go on here and look and see what I'm doing all the time. They're like, she looks terrible. Now, we're taking the exit, the sexit, right? Yes. We're in Raleigh, and there is a lot of construction. Construction. This all runs Mom from is highly, yes, Meredith College. We could do an interview with Richard Swanky. That would be fun. Find out. How did you tell him? But that was bad. <laughs> yeah, how did you tell him? Did you write him a letter? <laughs> I, I, was a, I was a little better than that. You talked to him in person? Yes. Mm, I would have left a note and run. <laughs> so, you, so you said yes, but then you said no? Did you have a ring? Yeah. Oh, she had a ring? <laughs> did you keep it? No. Oh, she gave it back. Probably his mother's. This is all the secrets of summer vacation. When you don't go to the beach, you just hang out together. <laughs> A Dear John letter. Yeah, I could see doing that. That'd be hard. But that was good. Good to cut it off. <laughs> good to cut it off. <laughs> Clean. Well, Your dad you made a good you choice. You have to give the ring back. You do? Well, if you're the one that broke it off, yeah. Mm. And if you're not, why would you want to keep the ring anyway unless you were really ticked off? And you Shelly said it. he's probably still talking about her leaving him for DB. <laughs> I wonder if he has told his family. Oh. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Probably. My friends and I say I don't think they aged well. Yeah, you got to chat. Just Maybe to... I didn't know this about you. This is called grandmother, daughter, granddaughter time. <laughs> Tales from the highway. What other secrets have you kept? That's pretty much it. <laughs> That's all you're getting today. Nothing. <laughs> Did he cry, Melanie said. Oh, poor Richard. Oh, did he cry? He went ahead and wrote an almanac. He what? He wrote an almanac. He wrote an almanac. You ever heard of poor Richard's almanac? No. <laughs> you have to Google it. Is that a song? That's my humor. Oh, that's no, it's an actual book. It's a book called Poor Richard's Almanac? Almanac, almanac, yeah. You don't hear the word almanac that much anymore. Well, what intrigued you about DB? Yeah. He, he cute. She's cute. That was it. <laughs> Were you dating DB when you broke off the engagement? Because I be, don't remember. Because it would be kind of weird if you were just like, I'm gonna break. I'm gonna stop the engagement to this guy I'm talking to, and we're not even dating. We're just like, I just think I'm gonna marry him, even though I'm not even dating. Have you ever heard the phrase, "Keep your going straight"? straight. Oh, keep, North Hills. She's sorry. getting all flustered. Getting all <laughs> <laughs> keep your, keep all your irons in the fire. <laughs> she was keeping her irons in the fire. She wasn't going to break the engagement till she got to see if the thing worked out with DB. It's my guess. No, if you want to see somebody else, you shouldn't be engaged, right? Yeah. So you broke up with him before you started dating dad? 
I didn't say that. <laughs> Which sounds like a cat. Well, did DB know that you were engaged when he was dating you? Oh, yeah, I bet he did. He probably loved it. <laughs> did he? Diddy? Diddy? Yeah, he's my Diddy. <laughs> Did DB know them? Or? He didn't help write the almanac. His name is Richard. Richard. I'm just calling him Poor Richard. Ask somebody if they know Poor Richard's almanac. Last name wasn't Cooper? No, I don't think was it. Maybe they're talking about DB Cooper. <laughs> oh, who's that? <laughs> he's the guy who jumped out of the airplane after he robbed the bank. Oh, really? Yeah, never found him. Really? Yeah. DB Cooper? heard of him. <laughs> I bet your friend from Michigan knows. Oh, was Richard's mom upset when you dumped her son? No. No, she understood. How'd she understand? Well, she didn't want well, Mammy marrying didn't... him and dumping him later. Uh, yeah, she, no, you don't want to stay engaged. Then. Now you need to interview D.B. Not over on this page, I can tell you that. That's subscriber only. DB's not Adrian, safe. Do I take the next one? You're taking the next one. I wouldn't interview Dad on that. The last time I interviewed DB, it was a problem. He he picked the topic, and it was men and women. What was the first thing he said? I I'm not telling because I'm hoping that just goes away. He said, "What was it? I don't know, but I wouldn't." Repeat women. It. It was horribly inappropriate. Yeah. So why are you trying Wim to remember it? In a quarter mile, Women. Make a U-turn and front of North. I can't remember. It was bad. It's been a couple years. Okay, turn right or left. Well, you're going to go straight, and then okay. we're going to go. Is it on which side though? Um. Well, we can go to either one go first. Let's go side. to REI first. One. Not this light, but the next one. Look, here's all this pine straw. So that was you're going to go the left the next one. Yeah. Not. The next one gets you back on the highway, so you're going straight. Right, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, but not let you said left the next one. Yeah. You see the arrow. This is why I don't like North Hills. She doesn't like the new North Hills that's been here for 20 years. <laughs> she likes the old North Hills, which was a mall with the J.C. Penney's and Montaldo's. Oh, yeah, nice. Was there a Montaldo's there? Probably, yes. She likes that. At the light, use the left lane to make a U-turn at front of North Hill Street. Front of town? I wonder what that is. Me either. Alice. Cancel directions. Ending navigation. I, I never have used Siri in my life. Mom and Siri are like third cousins <laughs> by birth. Okay, Adrian, here. You grew up, yeah, huh? Right here. Yep, and get in the far left. Okay, that's vacation day five. We still have vacation day six to do. I don't know when we're gonna do that. And old mom, Monday night. Carry on.